Yo, what up gangsters? Big Daddy E here on the motherboards.org YouTube channel to bring you yet another unboxing with my trusty knife right here. This one's really cool. This is the Punisher knife. It's even got a bloodline there. So if I stab the cameraman, his blood will just drain right to the floor. Won't even stain my knife whatsoever. And today we're bringing you the unboxing of the new Sapphire HD 7950 Flex Edition video card. That's right. It's the Flex Edition, so it will pump you up. So with that said, let's hop in and let's see what comes, huh? In this little box. All right, folks, so let's check it out. Like always, every unboxing starts with a box and a knife. So here we have it, the Sapphire card. This is the Sapphire HD 7950 Dual X Flex Edition, like we said before. Now the Flex Edition, it features support for multi-monitors three by DVI and five altogether. I think it's a little bit of an odd number. Some people may like that. Three gigabytes, GDDR5. This is also the overclocked edition. We'll flip it around just real quick to the back. Nothing much there, just show some awards and all that crap. So go ahead and take the knife right here. Make a trusty little incision right there. And we can put the knife off to the side. We'll begin the unboxing and pop the little cap here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hey, what do you know? Upside down like always. Now, I am world famous for upside down unboxings with the Sapphire cards. Nothing's changed, so we'll pop the top again. So we have the card on top, all nice and sealed in its anti-static bag. I'm going to just set that off to the side though, so we should talk about the content. I'm going to take the thing and throw it at the cameraman. Like usual, you guys love that stuff. Poor cameraman's in bandages right now. Another box at the cameraman. All right, here comes what we're going to call the content. So I'm just going to gingerly set it out here on the table. Take the box and throw it the other way. Let's go in boxes and we'll start with the content. So, right off the bat, got one, two, move those out here in front of the camera view here. Two Molex, two six pin. It's obviously it's going to be a dual six pin connector card. Molex is six pin, first off. Then we've got the Sapphire. This is for their club that you join. This will give you all the registration. If they have any contests or anything going on like that, you're going to want to use that. This is the extra stuff. DVI to VGA, some people might need that. I never would use that. Crossfire connection. Driver installation CD, is there a case badge in there? Nope, no case badge, but there's a driver CD. Then we have the Sapphire's graphics card quick installation guide. Spin that on the table there. Got some cables here, okay. We have the HDMI to DVI connection. This is going to help with your iFinity connection, I'm sure. Since we said three of them are gonna be by DVI, this is probably obviously another one. Then we have the HDMI cable right here as well. So everything all in the box. Let me go ahead, there's one more little piece in here. Let me get this out. This is the mini to standard display port. In case you have just a standard display port cable, this will enable you to use that. Then we're going to go ahead and bop this up and get that stuff out of the way. And we'll start taking a look at the card itself. So let's take a close look at the card. I now got my measuring tape. I'll go ahead and set this out here so the camera can get that nice and focused for you folks. I'm going to go ahead and take the measuring tape. Now this is a pretty long card. It's 11 inches, so it's sure to be a lady pleaser in any event as far as the height goes. It is four and a quarter inches high. It's obviously a dual slot card. We can see that as well. Get the old tape out again, once again, give a measurement there. One and a half inches thick. So hey, it's 11 inches by one and a half inches thick. Some ladies are like that. Since we got the card on the side, let's just start right here. Here we have the dual X. Now, this is gonna be very hard to see and the cameraman's gonna get all pissed off because I gotta move this up to him, but there's a little tiny little switch right here on the card. And this little switch right here allows you to switch back and forth between the BIOSes. It's actually so small that I can barely see it, but it's right here and you switch this card back and forth. So that means if you go ahead and you try to flash your BIOS and it's messed up, 
you can just go ahead and flick this little switch and be up and going and able to repair the other one as well. Now, as far as the power, we can see we have two six pin power connectors right here on the card. 75 watts each along with the 75 watts coming from the PCIe. Flip it around, show you guys the back of the card. It's blue, like most of their cards. A lot of you guys are gonna make little comments about that, but hey, to me it makes no difference because once inside the computer, you can't even see it. Here go two of the crossfire fingers right here on top. So that means you can do four-way crossfire with this card. PCI, it's also his PCIe 3.0. Underneath all this, it's kind of really difficult to see, but we can get actually a pretty good look right here. You can see all of the heat pipes and everything under there. Now, Sapphire always argues with me and they say this isn't their toxic, you know, cooling, but it's pretty much the same thing. The cooling on this card is very superior. Also, when you're doing overclocking and all that type of stuff, the more cool the card is, the better the electronics in it, the longer the life, and the better overclocking you can expect from that card, obviously. So let's flip it around. Let's take a look at the rear I.O. Now, as we take a look at the rear I.O., earlier we talked about that this supported three Ifinity monitors by DVI connections. Well, these are the first two, and then obviously this one right here by the cable is the third one. So those are going to be your three DVI connections. The last two for five-way flex will be with these two main display ports. So either way, it's looking to me like you're going to have to go out and buy a main display port cable because there's only one adapter in the box. So that's pretty much it, folks. Here's the card. Here's the knife. And uh, here are basically all the goodies. This has been the Sapphire HD 7950 Flex Edition Unboxing. Thanks for watching. We'll have the full review for you folks next week.